everyone, it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. I know I have not posted a video in a very long time and that's because um, I had there was something wrong with there's something going on with one of my eyes and it was just really creepy for me to it looked kind of creepy for me to uh, film videos and take photos uh, because yeah, it just looked really creepy and I don't want to creep everybody out. Anyway, today I'm very excited because I am going to be sharing with you guys my skincare routine or my update or my current skincare routine because there are new items that I have included into my skincare routine as compared to the last um, video that I filmed about my skincare routine. Wow, there's a lot of skincare routines. Like I'm filming this during the day so I'm going to be putting on the products that I will usually put on when um, you know it's during the day and then for the night time I will share with you guys the products that I use. I will also share with you guys the effects that I actually notice on my skin when I use these products. Before we get right into the video be sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're not already and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified as to when I upload a brand new video. Now that that's out of the way let's jump right into this skincare routine. Alright, so the first product I want to share with you guys is this one. This is the April Skin Real Calendula Peel Off Pack. So it's a peel off mask. It starts off like a jelly-like texture and then you just wait for it to dry and then you peel it off. Guys, if I'm going to be very honest with you, the favourite part of this mask is the peel off part because it's so satisfying. But I'm just going to share with you guys the benefits of this mask anyway. April Skin is a Korean skincare brand. The good thing about this mask is that uh, it has actual calendula flowers or the petals on the inside and calendula is actually a herb that helps to soothe the skin and when you peel off the mask right it's not abrasive it's not like it doesn't feel like you know those pore packs that can be a bit like painful when you peel it off it doesn't feel painful at all and the best part is because it's a peel off mask it actually removes the dead skin cells on your skin which actually Eight other products that you put on top after um, to absorb in even better. And I'm on their website right now, aprilskin.com.sg and it says that um, it is exfoliating, calm and soothing and it's hydrating. And yeah, it's a very... I find that the mask, because I've tried it once, I find that the mask is very safe for sensitive skin at least in my opinion. I didn't feel any irritation at all so yeah, I have a lot of fun using this mask actually and even more so that they come with their own jelly brush so I was like ooh, so much, e so easy to apply. So right now I'm going to apply it um, on camera. I just squeeze it onto the um, spatula, no, the applicator and I just put it onto my skin. It has a very nice refreshing scent. I don't know how to pinpoint what scent it is but I actually really really like it. It's not overly fragrance, like there's no floral fragrance. It's more of a refreshing scent. So now that I've applied it, I'm gonna wait for about 20 to 30 minutes until the mask feels very dry. Alright guys, I'm back. <laughs> I cannot even <laughs> I cannot even smile because it has dried and I don't know whether you can see but like it's starting to crack because I I'm, I'm I'm trying to talk and I'm laughing. <laughs> but anyway, when it feels like this <laughs> you can start peeling it off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ah cannot help myself. See when I smile it just starts cracking so that's when you know that it's ready um, so yeah and I look really shiny because of the peel off mask okay wait before we peel it off right do you all I don't know whether it's your era but I rem when I first when I when I used this mask for the first time and I peeled it off I it brought me back to the time when I love watching army days um, like way way back when so you know with Sheikh Haikal and all of the other actors, I forgot what their names are. And then there was this one guy, his name was Kenny, the character. And when he was in NS in that show, in that movie, he had he wore something like this. He was wearing like a very like a face mask and then he peeled it off and I was like, oh my god, such a flashback. So yeah. Now comes the most satisfying part, which is peeling off the mask. So you can just kind of like stretch your face and you can actually see like um 
the area that you can really pull off. So, it's damn shook guys. Look at this, oh my god. I don't know I can like AS ASMR for you or not, but I don't think so lah. Oh, look at that. Ta-da! Right. So this side... I'll just move my face a bit. And FYI, like this mask, right, it's not like a mask where you can see the like black head, white head la, all this. Like it's not that kind of mask, it's more of like, even if you can see, it's very, very little because it's like dead skin cells. Alright, so now that the mask is off, um, I can really, honestly, whenever I remove, after I remove this mask, right, I always feel that my skin feels much smoother. And last time, I used to have quite a lot of texture on my skin because, uh, yeah, I just have a lot of texture. I can feel bumps and sometimes when I can have this bad habit of touching my face and when I touch my face, I always like do this, this, right? Then I always can find like these dead skin cells that just roll out of my skin. But after using this mask, when I remove the, like when I peel everything off, I really feel that my skin feels softer and smart and much, much smoother. And I just really like the whole satisfying feeling of peeling it off, like, to be honest. So um, yeah, if you want something that's kind of uh, safe for, it's not so abrasive, I would highly recommend this Calendula Peel Off Pack. Now that that's done, I'm going to tone my skin. Um, I did not change my toner at all for the last couple of months. I've been using the Taya Switch Hazel Toner. Uh, I really like this because it's actually alcohol free. So if you have very sensitive skin or very dry skin, this is quite a safe bet for you. They have a, an unscented one, but this one I bought the lavender scented one. I will leave the link down below where I purchased it from. I purchased it from Shopee so you can actually click on the link and you can purchase it from there if you would like. I will just put it on a cotton pad. You can use a reusable cotton pad if you have some but I'm just using this non-reusable cotton pad. For eye cream, I've been trying this new one that I got during the circuit breaker period. Um, Heels actually has their own uh, like online uh, ordering via WhatsApp. So this is the new eye cream that I've been using. It's called the Powerful Wrinkle Reducing Eye Cream. I believe that eye creams are created to just take care of the delicate skin which is under our eyes. So it really depends on the kind of skin that you have. Like if you have very dry under eye areas, then you need something that's more moisturizing and more rich. But if you just want something general that's like, you know, to to slow down the wrinkling or aging process, then go something go with something like this. I personally cannot tell you whether it has changed my life or not. I just use it to like for the for the sake of my sanity like okay i know i'm taking care of my under eye area in some way so hopefully inshallah it does help lah but my best bet is if yeah if you have a dry under eye area go for something richer if not if you have like very oily ones then go for those gel cream kind of eye creams but please don't expect it to like remove all of your dark eye circles guys there is no such thing as a product that can remove dark eye circles if someone is telling you that a product is telling it um, maybe can but it has to do that it, it could be a lot of chemicals inside because I personally feel that there's no way you can uh, remove dark under eye circles unless you do with sleep or with concealer that's just my personal preference but please let me know if you have actually tried a eye cream an eye cream that actually can remove or reduce the un uh, dark under eye circles Okay, now that I'm done with my under eye cream, I'm going to move on to my serum section um, of face oil. But during the day, I try not to use face oils. I will just use lighter products and serums. But right now, I'm going to be sharing with you guys this um, serum that I have also been using from April Skin. And this is the Real Carrot Serum. This Real Carrot Serum, I have the box right here. I'm just going to share with you guys the benefits of it before I apply it and share with you guys my um, thoughts on it because I have been using it for a couple of weeks. So this is actually a brightening serum. Um, brightening not in a sense where it's supposed to lighten your skin tone but it's supposed to give and boost more radiance. So it has um, carotene which is like found in carrots. 
surprise. And it's uh, it has carrot extracts, which is carrot seed oil, carrot water, and carrot protein, which actually helps to not only brighten the skin but also calms irritated skin and um, to to ensure that there's a um, even skin tone. And it will eventually, after prolonged use, it will hopefully uh, garner you more smooth complexion. So for me, um, I if you have been following me for a while, you know that I have very like my skin is very red because I don't know. I just I'm just I I blush. I'm a natural pink. I have a very pink undertone. Oddly enough, even though my foundation is very neutral. Um, but yeah, my skin, I just have pretty red skin. It's not that it's irritated or anything. It's just that it's I, I blush easily um, and yeah, it's just it's just red, but it doesn't itch or anything lah. It's just, it's just red. So, um, with this serum, I've been using during the day um, for the last couple of weeks. I have come to the conclusion that my skin will always be this rosy so I don't expect this serum to actually help with my rosiness and I'm fine with it. But why I like this serum is that again, similar to the Calendula Peel Off Mask, I feel that the product is very safe, it feels and smells very fresh, it doesn't irritate the skin, it's not overly scented and I feel that again together with this it feels it makes my skin feel much smoother and more radiant um if like i'm not wearing makeup especially when i'm like working from home i feel that my skin looks very fresh and glowy with this serum so i like the texture i think that this texture of this the texture of this serum is good for those who have oily skin as well so this is what it looks like it's a more gel like um serum texture and it smells oh my god it smells like the spa okay i'm going to say this uh last time i used to use dermological products and dermological products smell like this or this smells like the dermological product that i used to use last time i used to use the active moist of um uh, moisturizer which i really like as well last time uh, so if you have uh, acne prone skin i think that's re recommended for oily and um, acne prone skin because it's a gel consistency as well um, but yeah it smells really like that like and i really like the scent so as you can see after applying the serum it makes my skin look very like glowy and nice and yeah i just i, I think that this is a good one um, and the price range is also very reasonable so if you're someone who's just getting into um skincare this is a product that you can actually consider if you are you want to like step up and use serums in your skincare routine so now that that's out of the way um what i use next is the um, La Roche Posay Ethercare Duo. So for this one, I recently tried it um, because of the I think they had like a Shopee brand day, and oh my god, you guys, this one, it actually helps to prevent breakouts and it soothes breakouts if you have them. So again, this is also a gel-like consistency, which I recommend for those of you who have slightly oilier skin. It's a very comfortable um, add-on to your skincare routine. You can also get them on Shopee. I will leave the link down below, or you can get them from Watsons or Guardian. I think you can. I think you can get them from Guardian. All right. So now that I've applied my serum and my Effaclair Duo Plus from La Roche Posay, I'm gonna proceed on to use my moisturizer. Now, sometimes I add on this particular product into my moisturizer and mix it in, and it is from Paula's Choice. So this is the Paula's Choice C15 Super Booster Vitamin C and what I will do is I will mix like one to two drops of that Vitamin C serum into my moisturizer. This is the Make Prem Hydrate Me Micro Tension Cream. I heard about this moisturizer from Beauty Within. I love it. If you want, uh, if you're looking for a gel type uh, moisturizer that's uh, very hydrating right I highly recommend this one it's so good I have combination dry skin so there are certain areas on my skin that's more dry and like but throughout the day my t-zone will get oily and this cream right is so hydrating and also not only that I have a preference towards having a little bit more of a glowy skin look as compared to a super matte one so that's why I really like this cream 
if you have super dry skin, I highly recommend it. This is so rich and like really, it's a very very good product and I actually really enjoy it a lot. So oops, I forgot. <laughs> I'm supposed to mix it in. So what I do is I will just take a little bit of product and put it on the back of my hand and I will just put two drops of this Paula's Choice um, Vitamin C Serum and I'll just mix it at the back of my hand sorry it's like going everywhere and I'll just apply it onto my skin the thing about Vitamin C is that it is supposed to help with brightening the skin but because of the components inside vitamin C you are if you are including vitamin C into your skincare routine and you are using it during the day please 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 don't miss out using um, sunblock after so my sunblock has not changed for the last one to two years and it is the Shiseido Perfect Protector SPF 50 Synchro Shield Wet Force Heat Force so this is a very water resistant sunblock and why I've been enjoying this sunblock is because it's um, I always trust Korean and Japanese brands uh, when it comes to their sunblocks and I really like this one I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply quite a bit of it because you are supposed to I'm just going to apply it on my skin Also guys, fun fact Do you know that even at home these lights that is in front of me or on top of me, your house lights all of them also emit um, UV <clears throat> some sort of UV rays Alright guys, so now that I'm done with my daytime skincare routine let's jump right into my nighttime skincare routine First up, I will cleanse my skin and I didn't mention what cleanser that I use but I use the Senka Collagen um, Facial Wash together with my Foreo Luna 2 and after that, I will go in with my toner and before I go in with my eye cream, I go in with this product which really, to me, changed my life. This is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant with Salicylic Acid. It actually helps to unclog and shrink and large pores smooths and evens out skin tone and it's very lightweight and it absorbs quickly oh my god y'all this is life-changing ever since i included this in my skincare routine at night i wake up with incredibly smooth skin like when i wake up and i like for example like bangun subuh or what right then i like want to wash my face like, oh my god my skin's so small uh, my skin's so smooth and i really feel that it's because of this I use this every night but it can be a little bit aggressive for some sensitive skin so if you are interested to try this I will leave the um, link to purchase down below but do um, try once a week first and see how your skin reacts to it and then you can proceed on to see how comfortable you are or how yeah how comfortable you are to use this every day or once every two days or something like that it's really up to you but for me I use it every night and I really love it it has a consistency of toner actually the smell it sm honestly it doesn't smell the best it smells like mm, it smells like acetone actually but not so not so strong um, but it actually really helps like when you use a cotton pad and like rub you know uh, put it on your cotton pad and you rub it on your skin you can actually see like the like the dead skin cells coming off you can see like your cotton pad get from like white which is the color of a cotton pad usually and it turns in you can actually see like a little bit grayish which is actually like the dead skin cells so i really really love this then after I use that, I will actually put on my eye cream which is the same eye cream, um, the Kiehl's eye cream and then I will put my serum for the night and this is also another um, somewhat like a chemical exfoliant this is the Sun By Me 30 Days Miracle Serum and it has centella in it which actually helps to um, you know reduce inflammation like uh, reduce acne if you have any and similarly this is also to tighten pores and to brighten the skin in terms of radiance I'm not sure whether I'm smart to use both together but my skin seems to be okay with it um, however if you can't then I would recommend one or the other this one um, actually I 
I'm really starting to get uh, interested in Paula's Choice products so I'm definitely going to include some more into my skincare routine in the near future. Um, but yeah, this is some by me. It's not bad. It's very less... It's not as aggressive as the um, Paula's Choice one in my opinion but uh, do check out um, Beauty Within's YouTube channel because they did talk about this and talk about this also which is... Um, then you can get like their, their expert opinion because they're really really good and they're like experts in skincare so can go and check it out. After the Sun By Me serum, I go in with my La Roche Posay Effeclair Duo Plus again just to help prevent like any breakouts or anything. And then next, I will go in with my facial oil which is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate by Kiehl's. I've not changed this at all. I've been using this for years and years and years and I really feel I am like a big fan of this product. I have repurchased this so many times. I've gotten so many people to buy it and everyone seems to like it. This is like a, a, a really good product especially like if you have problematic skin or you just feel like your skin needs a little bit a boost of radiance, a boost of um, moisture and I have used this when I had active breakouts and they do help my breakouts subside so this is something that I don't think I can live without ever. And last but not least is my moisturizer. I still use my Make Prem Micro Tension Cream for my moisturizer at night. Alright guys, so that's my updated skincare routine with a couple of new products that I recently got the chance to try or I tried it and I really liked it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Do leave a comment in the comment section down below if you have any questions or if you want to tell me that I'm using certain things wrong or you would recommend me to use other things or use you know with other products just hit me up in the comment section below because i would love to learn i know that with all these advancements in skincare there's a lot of chemicals that go into it and some may not mix well with others so maybe i'm not a pro at it i know i'm not, not maybe i'm not a pro at it but i just do whatever that i feel is okay for my skin but if there's any recommendations i'm very happy to hear them out and learn don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video inshallah. Bye!